Hey guys, Claude Johnson here. Hope you're doing well today. I'm having a good day so far. And uh, I want to talk about harmonizing the Mixolydian scale. I think this is a really important lesson. Now, let me just start off by saying, you know, answering the question, why Mixolydian? Why not some other mode or why not the major scale? So I sort of did another video on this um, topic, like music theory for blues guitarists, I think it was called. And just explain like why Mixolydian should be your home base for, for blues. So um, I'm not going to rehash that whole video, but basically um, you just want to reimagine the Mixolydian scale as your base for blues. And the reason is just because of the, the flat seventh note. So take the key of G, for example. There's my root and seventh. Okay, you're going to be playing that instead of instead of that, which would be in the major scale. So in the key of G, there's no sharps, no flats for Mixolydian. It's the same as, same notes as C major. So just G, A, B, C, D, E, F. Okay, back to your G. All right, so um, yeah, that's just a brief uh, explanation of why Mixolydian. You should definitely watch that other video if, if that's confusing. But again, <clears throat> Uh, for this example, uh, this set of examples, we're just going to be in the key of G Mixolydian, no sharps, no flats. All right, so, all right, so what is harmonizing the scale? So obviously, you, you probably know what a scale is. You know, when you talk about harmonizing the scale, it means playing more than one note, usually just two notes. Um, when you get into more than two, it's almost like chord scale. So, for all intents and purposes, it just means playing two notes and. What you want to do is work off of each set of two strings, like your adjacent strings, you know, high E string and B string, and then your next set of strings, your G and B string, and so on. Okay, and you will also want to do each interval type. Okay, like thirds, fourths, fifths, sevenths, tenths, and so on. All right, so um, now one thing to keep in mind when I say like an interval like thirds or fourths, you're always staying within the scale. So you always go, like let's take thirds for example, start on the root here. And so instead of playing like root second, we'll skip over the second and play the third. This is just like if we were building up a chord. But instead of, we're just going two notes, like a two note mini chord. And then second and fourth, third and fifth, and so on, okay? You do that on each set of strings. And uh, I'll have some tabs for you you should, you should check out. Um, now, if we go to fourths, instead of this, you'll have something like this. Different sound, right? So you should spend some time with each um, set of intervals and just get used to it. Get used to like what a third sound like. Okay, and they're going to sound different like on the lower strings. Um, you can do some inversions and stuff, but what you'll find is like the fourths, if you invert them, become fifths, and the thirds, if you invert them, become sixes. So, so you have your fourths, you have your sixes like this, and like even tenths. Okay, so again, work off of each set of strings. I guess I should mention, like, yeah, when you get into sixths and tenths and stuff like that, it's not going to be on adjacent strings. Like, this is skipping over a string. This is the G and B and high E string. All right. So anyway, hopefully that concept is clear, like how to do it. Um, again, you just count up the scale. So if you were doing fifths, one, two, three, four, five. Um, One thing about the um, the tritone interval, it comes up when you're doing like fourths or fifths. Um, it just it's just backwards. But I'll I'm not going to get too deep into the details. I just want to cover the basics for now. Now, why would you want to learn this stuff? Well, first of all, you're going to get different sounds that you can't get from anything else. You know, you can play chords. You can play single notes. 
play scales or arpeggios, but you're not gonna get that same sound. All right, so it gives you a whole new ball of wax to play with, so to speak, okay? Also, another big benefit is it kind of like ties everything together with the fretboard. Like if you, if you understand that this is like the, um, the four and six, you know, that fits right into your four chord. So you, it kind of like helps you figure out where you are when you're playing and discovering new sounds. All right, now, let me just go over four quick ways that you can use, uh, use this in a musical way. So the first way is just um, writing riffs, okay? So that's kind of a, kind of a cliche. You can add little chromaticisms in there, just like, you know. You could, you could do that, you could do it. But yeah, writing riffs. All right, there's a riff right there. Second way is, um, you know, combining with chords and single notes, you know. Using the same pattern here, let's just throw in like a full uh, G7 bar chord. You can combine the single note. I feel like those three things, like your chords, your single notes, and your little two-note mini chords, can really create um, a variety of sounds. I think that's like one of the big keys to staying, like to sounding musical, is you just like mix up the textures. All right, another way is to combine um, like different intervals, like thirds and fourths, for example. So here's a good one. So right here, this is like a fourth interval, but it's also my fifth degree and, and root. So that's a very fundamental sound. So you can combine that with this one, which is your sixth and root. And you'll get that, you know, that motion here between your fifth and your sixth. I mean, that's like the essence of harmony right there. Just, you know, one note stays the same, the other one's moving. So you have a sense of movement and the notes are working together. Another one, here's, um, let's say you have your third and fifth. You could lower your third down to a second. So, um, yeah, you get the idea. Here's one more way you can do it, which is to convert these to single notes. So instead of just this, you could... All right, anyway, there's, uh, there's a whole world <laughs> out there. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, harmonized stuff. So... Um, please check out the uh, tabs, check out the link in the video description, and I'll talk to you soon. Have an awesome day.